Thank you for tuning in. This is student meteorologist Paul Tashro. It is hot out there yet again. Second consecutive day with temperatures into the upper 80s. Actually, uh, Bradley uh, Winterlocks, Connecticut, getting to a high of 94 degrees today. But here in Danbury, we have generally sunny skies. This is a picture I took outside our Midtown campus at 145. But we will continue to see some clouds develop this afternoon and clouds move in from the west. We are also tracking the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon through the early overnight hours. One or two of these could be on the stronger side and may con contain some strong winds. Then also tomorrow a cold front is going to move through. That's going to set the stage once again for some more showers and thunderstorms late in the afternoon. And once again, a few of those could be on the strong side. But when that cold front moves through, that sets the stage for a fantastic Saturday. But on Sunday, we are watching a low pressure system, which could give us a few showers during the day. On the current surface map, we have a stalled out frontal boundary across the central part of the country. This has been producing severe weather across the central plains. And as this front moves through tomorrow, we will be tracking showers and thunderstorms in the second half of the day. And once again, a couple of those could be on the strong side. Checking out the current satellite, uh, here's Connecticut right here, here's Danbury. We had uh, generally sunny skies early on, but we can see clouds beginning to work on in from the west. Next, if we see some of these clouds right here across uh, central New York, this is indicating the development of some showers and thunderstorms. We even have some across Massachusetts, which we could see here on the radar. We're starting to see showers and thunderstorms develop, and this theme will continue as we move through the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Which time some of uh, uh, the potential for thunderstorms? This is one of our forecast models at 6 p.m. this evening, showing those showers and thunderstorms across New York and Pennsylvania. If we fast forward to about 9 o'clock this evening, showing actually a pretty decent line of uh, showers and thunderstorms moving through central Massachusetts with even some isolated activity across western Connecticut. So more activity back off to our west, and this may end up moving through all around midnight tonight. So we are going to continue to watch the potential last until the early part of the overnight hours. And also, what kind of are we looking at severe weather potential today? We're looking at generally in an elevated risk for a strong or severe thunderstorm across northwestern Connecticut, a lower risk south and east across the state. And the main potential today would be strong to damaging wind gusts with the stronger thunderstorms. And for tonight, looking at a rather warm low of 65, and dew points are rising, so it's gonna start to feel a bit more muggy. Lows in the mid 60s again, showers and thunderstorms, again, possibly on the strong side. For tomorrow, another warm high, actually probably hot again. Highs once again near 90, southwest wind gusting upwards of 30 miles an hour, and as the afternoon progresses, we will watch some showers and thunderstorms beginning to work into the state. And once again, a couple of those could be on the strong side. And my five-day forecast, there's Saturday, quite pleasant, generally sunny skies, just some afternoon cumulus clouds, temperatures in the mid-70s. Sunday, we are watching that low pressure system, could give us some showers, highs up near 70, but high pressure works and to begin the work week with temperatures up near 70. As always, you could follow us on social media for all the latest updates on the weather. I'm student meteorologist Paul Tashero. Thank you for watching.